Hey, what's going on, people? Troll Pal CHH. Today, we're looking at yet another Severin 4K UHD release that just came out. And this is another Soavi film. We're looking at The Church. That's right. This is the new 4K UHD release of The Church. This is a 1990 film. This is also one of those Dario Argento Presents titles. You know, Dario Argento was doing like some of those Presents titles where he was having a strong influence on the films like this one of course the demons and demons 2 movies it's funny because when you when you look into this kind of stuff all these italian directors they don't like each other you know they don't they don't they don't like each other none of these guys like dario you know the lumberto bava he he hates dario argento he didn't want him on the set of the demons films you know that that's the interesting thing but yeah this is the a new 4k uhd release of the church what is the church the church is one of those movies I, I like a lot. It's one that, like, when you get me talk, Christian, what's Italian horror movies that you like? The church always finds its way into the conversation for me. Uh, I, I'm a scenery kind of guy. If, if you if you want to ask me what kind of Italian horror I like, you got to give me good scenery. If you got good scenery in your movies, for me, that's half the battle because I feel like that's one of the strong suits for Italian horror films. So you got to be a standout for, for scenery. And I feel like the church is one of those titles that does that so well the church starts out with like and this is established in the beginning of the film a crap load of bodies that are all supposed to be spawns of satan they're killed and thrown down into this massive pit and they're covered up a cross is put on top of them and this beautiful cathedral big catholic church i presume is built over the top of it then we go to present day uh, it's one of those movies where this guy comes to work at the church and he's doing a lot of discovery and kind of archaeological stuff in there and he meets this woman it, you know it's kind of got your typical there's always that 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 relationship romance stuff that goes on a lot of these italian horror films the church is no exception to me the thing about the church that i like i feel like it is the italian version of prince of darkness you know it's very much about god and the devil very much so the way Prince of Darkness is. And that's how I would describe the church. I'll keep the review on this movie very spoiler free because I feel like a lot of people haven't dove into this. And I think this is one of those titles you would get some enjoyment out of. Church that they filmed this movie in too, by the way. Holy God, it's it's overwhelming when you see the inside of it. One of the things that's extremely interesting about the church too is when you listen to the music for the church. My wife is watching this with me and she goes, I've heard that music from somewhere before. What is that? And sure enough, she was like, that music's from The Truman Show. I was like, it can't be from The Truman Show. And then she goes, no, it's not from The Truman Show, but it's the same composer that did music for The Truman Show. And I swear, he's using the same kind of music cues. And sure enough, you, you can hear the similarities. So if you watch this movie, think The Truman Show with some of the music cues, and you'll be like, holy crap. So that's really interesting. It's a little bit of a creature feature, too. Uh, and that's something that you'll see in here, which is a very nice surprise for me. There's some really cool practical effects works going on in the church. It's very, very, very visual. So I would say this is very much, like I said, the best way to describe the church to me with keeping it very spoiler free. It's a sexy Italian Prince of Darkness. Okay, so that's how I'm going to describe the film. And Prince of Darkness is one of my favorite John Carpenter films. So this is the 4K release of the church from Severn Films. We got a really nice slipcover. Uh, I don't know what kind of materials this that they used on here, but it rivals it rivals that kind of vinegar syndrome type slip. So kudos to these guys, because I want I, I want to say Severin, you guys are starting out the year really good. I'm I'm proud of you guys, uh, hitting it out right out of the park. Uh, here's the backside of the uh, 4K slip for the church. Nice purple hue on here, and I talked about this with the uh, Cemetery Man release. The 4K cases that they used on this are phenomenal. Uh, they're these nice, really sturdy 4K cases with that snap together. Get a booklet in here as well. Let me pull this out. I look through some of the pages in this. And like I said, this is a very... Oh, there is nudity in here, so i got to be careful. Uh, this isn't necessarily nudity, but there is. it's a very, very, very visual movie. So like I said, if, if you want to get to know what kind of uh, Italian horror... There's a lot of nudity. There's a lot of nudity <laughs> In this booklet you want to know the kind of italian horror i love it's got to be very very visual and the church is a great example of that uh so i'm a fan of this film i'm a big fan of this movie so there you go i can't show you too much of this book guys i'm sorry there's just a lot of nudity in here 
Here is the uh, artwork on the front. Uh, I, don't, I don't think there's any reversible art. Let's see. No, there's not reversible art. So, of course, we get our 4K disc. We get our Blu-ray disc, which has the new restoration. And then we get our motion picture soundtrack. I just, I really want people to check this one out. I think if you're wondering, okay, you know what? I want to pick up some of those Severn ones. I saw they had a lot of stuff. They had they had the sect. They had the church. They had uh, Cemetery Man, Delamorte de la Moore. They had a few other things. What, what, what do I want to get? Uh, my, my biggest suggestion is to get Cemetery Man and the church. Um, the sect, I want to talk about that one soon as well because I did pick up the sect. Uh, but this is the one I was like, this is a no-brainer for me. I got to pick up the church. So it's one of those movies, man. It's just a very visually striking film. There's one scene in here where uh, our lead actress, our co-lead, if you will, uh, she's making a snack and she's sitting in bed and she, she hears something against the window. And you see like this, you know, like you always... It, in, in, in culture, there's this association with the goat or the ram, with, with the devil. There's a moment where she hears something at the window, and you go to a shot, and you see, like, this gigantic, like, ram devil thing in the window. It's very brief, and I just remember being like, God damn, man, like, what the frick was that? Uh, it's a great moment. It's a great moment in the film. Uh, so I'm a big fan of The Church. I think it's a one-thumb-up movie. Some of the dubs, the her dub is uh, passable. The guy's dub in here is great. Uh, it almost looks like he did it himself, which yeah, I don't, I'm not sure if he did or not because I got to go through some of the special features. I watched some of them. I haven't watched all of it, which we'll talk about. But it's a, man, it's a gorgeous movie. I think you guys are really going to like this one. And again, I, I really think seeing these Italian horror films in 4K is crucially important, crucially important because they're such visual movies. That's their, that's their, um, that's like their main entree of these films is the visuals of it. So to see this film in such high quality is s crucial. So uh, that was the beauty of this because I had the Blu-ray for the church and it wasn't a bad Blu-ray, but this just wipes the floor with it. It's a, it's a flawless one. So in terms of the picture quality, I'll, I'll get that out right away. Just like Della Morte, Della Morte Cemetery Man, uh, this was another perfect 10, in my opinion, 4K, just incredible pure detail natural didn't have to adjust anything everything just looked perfect i was so happy with the 4k for the church memory serves this was a 5.1 this did not have the dolby i know della morte de more had the dolby uh dolby atmos but i think this was 5.1 and which is perfectly fine for me again because i'm a soundbar person i think most of us are you know but uh i want to talk about the special features in a second because there's so much special features but yeah, I really like this movie. It's, it's like I said, an Italian Prince of Darkness. That's the way I would describe it. And I just, I'm a big, big, big fan of it. So let's look at the special features and we'll come back. We have on disc one, the UHD. We got the trailer on there. On disc two, the Blu-ray, we have the Mystery of the Cathedrals, interview with the director, Suave. We have Alchemical Possession, interview with co-screenwriter, producer, Dario Argento. The 11th Commandment, interview with co-screenwriter, Franco Farini. The Ghostwriter, interview with co-screenwriter, Darjano Sacchetti. Latte, interview with actress Asia Argento. Here Comes the Bride, interview with actress Antonella Vitali. A Demon Named Evan, interview with actor Thomas Arana. Father Giovanni, interview with actor Giovanni Lombardo Radiz. Monsters and Demons, interview with special effects artist Sergio Stivaletti. Holy Ground, interview with makeup artist Franco Casagni, Casagni, excuse me. Building the Church, interview with set designer Antonello Jeling, and the right-hand man, interview with assistant director Claudio Latanzi, and Return of the Land of the Demons, interview with Alan Jones, author of Profondo Argento. Guys, there you have it. I mean, if you're going to pick up any of these uh, Severn titles, these are the two right here. I would say go for it. Absolutely go for it. Uh, especially if you're not well-versed in the Italian genre. I think the church is a perfect follow-up and i'm just really happy with these style releases these slip covers are really nice and um i really like these 4k cases they're just solid good cases really really like them so i'm gonna give this release 
another solid two thumbs up. I don't have a solitary complaint with either this release, De La Morte, De La Morte, Cemetery Man. Could not be happier. A great Italian horror film. Uh, I think this one has its fan base. I like this. I'd like to introduce it to more people. And I think that there's not a better way to be introduced to the church than through this new Severn release. I think this is the only way you should watch this film. Especially if you haven't seen it. Don't stream it. Don't get crappy bitrate. Don't get lesser PQ. See this in an immaculate format. And see it the way the director wants you to see it appreciate all the beautiful visuals of the cathedral all, all the there's a lot of dark scenes in here too but they're pristine looking on this 4k so you're really going to want to see this in tip-top picture quality because it's going to make you appreciate this film even more it's such a visual movie i can't emphasize that enough so the church guys cannot recommend this one enough love it if you're going to get anything from severin get cemetery man and get the church. If you're a fan of the church, guys, let me know down in the comment section below. I'd love to know your history with the church. If you've checked it out, is this one of your favorite Soavi films as well? Let me know. It's certainly one of mine. Big fan. Thank you guys for watching. Your old pal CHH. Take care. I'll see you guys next time. Huge giant thank you to all of my Patreon supporters. Without you guys, this would not be possible. To get behind the scenes photos, videos, music, private live streams, and much more, you can subscribe to my Patreon for as little as a dollar a month. Thank you to my patrons.